Hey YouTubers, today I'll show you another Polaroid camera which is the EE100 It's not such nice condition but okay, let me see I have to adjust this a little bit Okay So The EE100 I think in the United States they sold them as the report or something, but that's the way to open it. I cleaned it already. It was in, like I said, not a nice condition. So this is the camera. Well, you have to focus manually, infinity, and it's got the dual scale for meters and feet. And this seems to be the flash range. One meter is the closest. And it's a color Polaroid triplet. So it's got three lenses, which is not that bad. And this is the adjustment for darker or lighter. Here you're going to put on the flash cubes. And each time you expose, it usually rotates but I think you have to wind it up so to say so and focusing is basically a guesstimation yeah so this is maybe like a portrait modus where you can't do anything wrong yeah and there is not much to say about it but the good thing is you have a thread for a remote control by wire and you have a viewfinder which is this here it's pretty good you see the frame and you got a sh little uh, manual here the steps one two three four five six that means you need to focus you need to expose push the button and then you pull the film tap then you pull the film wait and then you open up as usual the ins and you can take this out normally that's two aluminum uh, sheets they taped together and when it's cold or whatever you can put the f for developing the film inside and warm it up something and this is the way to open it and to load the film cassette over here inside you're gonna put accordingly to AA batteries and the most people they use the film one time then they put the camera aside leave the batteries inside and they're gonna start leaking yeah well that's the way it is so and then also what you have to do as a maintenance is to take out this piece according to the instruction the instructions and oh come on let me see one moment okay Pull it up from here. Okay, so that's the way to do it. The tap, black tap, push it back, and then you clean this part. All that part you clean here and here. And of course the rollers. So one is rolling kind of freely, which is supposed to be like that, and the other is more stiff. That these ends here left and right need to be cleaned all the time, or the most times when you see some particles from that developing stuff. So and then you just put it back in. And here it says two.
1.5 volt AA batteries change yearly okay so you put the film in there you got the cover sheet you pull that off then the first picture is ready to be exposed oh, zack. and then you do this here you, ah one more thing this is for two film types only which is for the polaroid 3000 asa or the polaroid 75 so this is kind of difficult because we lately you get uh, from uh, impossible from the impossible project the uh, fujifilm 100 and then you get the 3000 but 100 you barely get any 75 asa so this is a slower film you get a faster film so that means it will be darker so you lighten that up you, you have to, the bite and the bitter apple and the waste one picture you know because you only have 10 that's kind of yeah and they're not necessarily cheap so you want to make sure this is a little bit lighted up here a little bit lighter and then adjust it accordingly 200 asa because 75 lets more film uh, light in actually kind of yeah so but the, the good thing is as always with the polaroids they are really transportable compact and you also have that tripod on the bottom here you got the building strap yeah and this is a nice camera very nice so as always Thanks for watching.